I have all that anticipation for Welcome back to New Soccer Wars. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester with the Niskull. Hi. Well, uh, we're gonna ask about the Combat Review World Games. Which are basically the steampunk mech Olympics, which the whole game revolves around, basically. Can we invite Mario and Sonic to these Mecha win Winter Games, please? Nah. We can invite Gundam pilots, though. That'd be that'd be neat. Ooh. Answer me this, please. Look, look in here. Oh. This is where the... Wait, are, the, are, are those dumplings? Well, <sighs> if, if you look inside the box, there's nothing in there. What a lie. <laughs> Betrayal. Anyway, what's up? Uh, I was about to say, is there a Sonic reference in here anywhere? I didn't find one. Okay, good. I know Sega has a, a tendency to add Sonic to everything that their uh, games touch. Well, maybe you guys shouldn't suck so bad then. All right, go for it. It's not like you to get so down. I mean, you're usually the bubbly, ex you know, ex excitable one. How many points are you going to lose for this? I don't get any points. I don't lose any either. That was the middle of the road? Yeah. It's like, it feels like these girls just want me to blow smoke up their ass. It's like, it'll be better tomorrow, just you wait! Your procrastinating kindness. I'll be a good person tomorrow. So at this point in the chapter, we are going around talking to our three ladies that we have right now. Talk to them about nothing, and kind of let slip, Oh yeah, Sumire told us to be in the Combat Review World Games. Oh well, by gum, I think we should compete. This is... Hey, don't try and be Gemini here, okay? I... This is new. This is new soccer awards. Understand? Okay. I realize nobody calls it soccer awards six, though. Well, I mean because they they nixed the the numbers. It's now they new. Nixed, they nixed the whole series, basically. Toss it in the garbage. Nobody likes soccer awards anymore. Even I get depressed. You know, I'm not always all uh, you know chipper and cheerful. All right, let's do this. She cries to me afterwards. I'm a human being with emotions, beep boop. This will be the third combat review games, around every two years. So you're telling me the combat review games have only been around for six years? Yes. Yeah, we need to dedicate so much time to these relatively new events. Alright, well, who's next on our list here? Hopefully Somebody one with personality. Shop. Everybody here is on the second floor. Uh, let's see. It's Hato and Clarice is in a room. Nobody else here right now. Wait. Yeah, I think you just missed her. D did I? Wait, wait, where, where is she? Down the hall. Like back here? Yeah. Oh, oh, there she is. Oh, there hey. we go. <laughs> so Hi. See, you kind of blended in with the carpet a little bit. You know? <laughs> Can you please stand up, by the way? You shouldn't be doing, like, snow angels in the carpet. You blend in too much. How do you think you did? So, again, I'm, I'm going to be straight with her. They said it was terrible. Burr, 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 burr. No, again, that's the middle of the road option. Are you fucking kidding me? So I can so I can either lie to you know, delude her into thinking that you you guys did great, or I can just be truthful with her and say you guys stink badly. In but this, hey, just keep trying to improve. That's all you gotta do. In this game, you get to experience what it's like to be in a dorm full of girls and trying to make them all happy at the same time. Hey, am I right, guys? Ba bam 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 finger guns. Wow, that sounds like a plot straight from 2004. 
Have you ever watched Love Hina? I have all the manga. Cool. Do you get vibes from that in this? No? Hmm, maybe I'm thinking of another show like that. I mean... Yeah, I mean, guys in a dorm room with a whole bunch of girls. Wow! You know, that's that's not... But the reason why I love Hina was so hilarious, because the main character was an idiot doofus. And he got his ass kicked every five pages because he accidentally did something perverted. It was a comedy of pratfalls. Well, Hatsuho knows we're going to the World Games now. Time to let it slip not so suddenly to Clarice as well. Hello, Clarice. Oh, she's a and ninja. Her room, her room looks like how you expect it. Oh, the bloom. Her face is being engulfed by the sun. You have a ton of books. <laughs> Observation complete. Many books. Hey, there you go. Wow, you notice I have books? Thanks, I was trying to keep them subtly hidden. <laughs> Clarice, the worst ninja. <laughs> trying to hide all these things in plain sight. She's not the ninja. Somebody else is. Oh, there actually is a ninja? Yes. Oh, hell yeah. Grab it by the ruffles. What do you know about the combat review world games? <laughs> you know, I would kind of like that. If there were multiple options on how to approach, just regular speech. Maybe this guy is a robot. So she's like, ooh, what brings you to a girl's room so late at night? It's like, I'm your captain. I I'm your captain. I have our new orders. Yeah. Like, people seem to forget the rank. Like, I am your captain. I'm not here to have a little uh, bath encounter with, with all y'all or have you know, some sort of, you know, romantic rendezvous with you in the middle of the night. I am here to lead you two to greatness and victory and to protect this city. You know, with these models, and I'm doing a comparison to Sakura Wars 5 because that's all the reference I have, our dude in 5 looks like a child compared to this guy. Well, yeah, that was kind of his his charm, I guess. That's how he was able to, you know, cross dress and become part of the show. That's why, you know, he was wide eyed and innocent, like so many Western Westerners trying out uh, soccer wits for the first time. Don't worry, sir. I'll have your daughter home by eight, and by that time, she'll call me daddy. <laughs> Uh, you know what? It's With like, why, these why can't you just, specific why, scenes, I'm enjoying the soundtrack a lot more. This is nice. Why can't we just come up and say, Hey, Clarice, Hatsuho, Sakura, we're, uh, we got our new orders. We're going to the World Games. We need to win, otherwise we're going to get shut down. But no, I gotta go have some ridiculous, like, Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Well, uh, I mean, uh, yeah. By the way, we're going to be at the World Games, you know. What? We are! So they just did that three times. Ah, oh, amazing. What? You know, I'm glad you brought me along for this, because I really needed a way to put me to sleep at night. I should have known something was wrong when I was playing this for the first time. Because I was kind of nodding off, too. You were blinded by the Sakura Wars. No... There is a straw that breaks my back that happens at the end. Oh, can't go to the third floor because there's books and boxes in the way. <laughs> oh my we'll, God. we'll never get to see that third floor. Hey, I, I have an idea. What if we rent the third floor out to people? You know, have oh. some board so they can pay rent. That might get some funds up. Oh, wait, I'm a delusional child. Never mind. Delusional child? You look 35. It's probably in his mid-20s. And yet so, you're gonna you're gonna tell me this guy's in high school? Bullshit. No, he's not. He's not in high school. Wait, we're playing as an adult anime man. Actually, I really have no idea how old he really is. 
Old it, enough for him to have a grizzled war pass, that's for sure. We'll get to that later. I was about to say, the only thing in anime are, like, very young girls and very old muscular men. So now, we're giving a look at the mechs we're going to be using for this game. They certainly look like the ones we used in 5. But these things are a little bit outdated. Ugh, the things from the previous game? Ugh, that's obsolete crap. And they're, they're like... They're not even properly maintained. Hey, 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 dude. Dude? Yeah. yeah. Is, is that, is that pink one Sakura's because of the, because of the Sakura petal on it? <gasps> How did you know? Oh, just call me a genius. Niskeldamas in the house. I'm going to predict everything that's going to happen in this game. Check it. You, you probably might. I hope it's not that predictable. Well, well, we'll see how it goes. I imagine you'll be able to obviously predict some things, but some of which will throw you for a loop. And you know, I don't think I ever called this into question. Who was the person that saved us in the train station? One of the members of the Shanghai Division. Oh, there's different divisions. Oh. So we have... So we also have no fucking money. We have literally zero money. Okay, time to put our main dude here out on the street, you know, showing some leg. <laughs> Lifting boxes, I don't know. I don't know, it feels like we're not doing enough to raise, raise funds, you know? It's like you guys might have to get part-time jobs. You might, you guys might have to start <laughs> selling some stuff. I mean, oh no, god. Uh, but we'll find a way. Say it with more enthusiasm. Do 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 do. She liked that. And I'm not giving up on you yet. I just got here like a week ago. Yeah, I was about to say. I, I'm here to help. We got, we got to raise some money so we can start making our shows better, so we can get more money. I mean, I'd even be satisfied if this is a fucking management game at this point. That'd be cool. Oh, actually, that would be really cool. That would be great. I would love that, actually. I'm ex I I'm excited myself. <laughs> every so often, you get to do scenes with the girls, and then every so often, wow, 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 you gotta go out and do, and do some, you know, demon yeah. hunting stuff. Maybe even do a list of stuff so you can get extra funds and, you know, oh, we know that there's a big dark energy and we will be here in about seven days, so we got seven days to buff up our mechs and all that to get ready for the fight. That sounds so cool, actually. But, so the problem now is that we don't have our own mech. Oh. It's, it's still, it's, it's still on the way, basically. We don't even have maintenance staff to fix the damn things. But you know what they do have? Oh, they certainly have a good prop department. No. A lavish fucking bath. No. No. You know, this guy seems like the type to take his swords into the bath with him. Just in case. Yeah, the, it's a bath that's so big, we don't even get to see it. I knew it! I knew they were gonna pull that. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the best part of this episode, because everything else is... gonna make me want to pop an Advil or two from here on out. Oops! What should I so, do? No, we're, we're gonna leave. Let's get the fuck out of here. We're not supposed to be here. Don't sit here and ponder. Run. Get out! Run! Don't, don't cower and get in the fetal position. Just get the fuck out of the... Just walk out! Just go, oops, I shouldn't be here. I better leave. But... She goes up. Oh, the girl's bath. I, I didn't realize. I literally didn't realize it was the girl's bath. 
You but he's got to be like all shady about it. Yeah. I saw that coming. Uh, I don't think anything would have changed. She would have just ran away and called us a pervert. Hentai baka idiot. What does that say right there? That sign? I'm going to guess Ofuro, which means bath. Okay. I was about to say, if it actually specified that it was a girl's bath only, this guy ain't Japanese. See, they're Ofuro or Onsen, something like that. Either way, it, it, it says just bath. It didn't designate it was a women's bath. Mm-hmm. Ooh, looking stylish. Is the fan necessary, though? Well, I mean, she's ready for a night on the town, you know. I mean, we're your employees, not your adoring fans. Well, I mean, some of us are. I love you, Sumire! You're my favorite! So we're gonna get shut down. This is the weirdest game. <laughs> Wait, who the hell are you guys? These two are the Shanghai Combat Review. <laughs> Xiao Long and Yui. Holy shit, why aren't we playing as these guys? So they're brash, arrogant assholes who I don't think are our friends, but the game doesn't seem to think so. I should have said you're the pervert. <laughs> I know. Uh, at, at this point, we kind of, you know, screwed the pooch on this entire playthrough, so why not, like, double down on all the really bad answers? No, that's the thing, though. I'm just going to be as completely straight and normal as I can so you can see how the game will misconstrue what I'm saying and turn into something bad. I also didn't find this out until, like, recently, but apparently we didn't have just one artist on this. We had several artists. Tite Kubo, the Bleach guy, only did the combat review. You know, the, the Imperial combat review. These six. Then they had other people doing the, the Shanghai combat review. And other people who did the London combat review. Oh my god. Other people who did the villains. So it's just a mishmash of ideas and styles. So we'll win the world games. Easy. That's that's basically how we're gonna stay in business. Makes sense. <laughs> he slams his hands down. We're disbanding. What? <laughs> well, no shit. It's your only hope to win. That's the only yes. option you had. That is literally the only option. See, they're assholes! You know, Kamiyama, if you want to win some points in my book, I want you to do the, like, you know, hands on your chest thing. It's like, Bring it. So Punch him in the face. <laughs> and while you're out, it punch Yui in the face. How dare. Oh no, Sakura's crying. Now we have to all worry about her. Oh, if Sakura cries, the world ends. Oh so, uh, god, they're th doing this too? This was also in 5, but again, I can't tell what I'm, how I'm saying because his face would change as we put it up or down. So, I'm gonna follow- Just watch, we're gonna win this! And then he just- <laughs> Just watch. We're going to. That didn't win seem this. like a maximum hundred percent conviction, you know. <laughs> what? You guys have hope? Impossible! Oh my God! All of his monocles fell off at the same time. Wait, why did they come here? Just to gloat? Just to gloat and to tell us to quit and disband, so they wouldn't have to worry about it. Wow, douchebags!
Let's all go to the lobby. Let's, Let's all, all go, go to, to the lobby. lobby. Let's, Let's all, all go, go to, to the, the lobby, lobby to break this asshole's neck. Maybe that'll bring in money. Here, a live neck breaking. Maybe they could rent out the theater. Have like improv night for some guys and have them pay like a flat rate every night. I love improv night. I would come to improv night. Oh, we can't win. It's impossible. So, so just give up then. Uh, if we if we work together, there's nothing we can't do. You so may. Then, okay. Yeah, you're right. We gotta we gotta band together. The only way we're, the only way we're gonna do this is if we uh, pool our resources, work together, and kick ass. I mean, you should really leave everything to me because you guys are, are hopeless, but just, just just leave it to me. Why will, would you will... say that? <laughs> Captain, why what? would you say that? <laughs> Alright, that's a bit of a that's a bit of a leap. I'm just trying to be realistic here. Come on, but she's <laughs> Wow, the music has ramped up. So what the fuck do you want me to do then? Look, the the, the 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 chips are stacked against us. We either win or we don't. What the fuck's so indecisive about that? Where are you going? Why did you do that? You made her sad. What? Like, does she not realize that she's yelling at her commanding officer? Well, what do you know? You just got here. I know how hierarchies work in a militaristic uh, uh, setting. That's kind of the thing that irks me about not only this game, but Soccer Wars 5. They, they kind of don't respect you at all. Well, because, I mean, well, because you're a dinky kid, I mean. <laughs> I, I, well, yes. Eventually in 5, you know, they kind of warm up to you after like three chapters of nonsense. But yeah, this e one is e just even like... Then, like Even then, there's still a couple of characters that are like, I don't know, he hasn't proven himself. Yeah. And then, of course, you got this guy who's just, like, saying the worst things imaginable. I'd like to think, like, fate's against him at this point. Turn the sword against him. Hit him, hit him! Oh. Yeah, I'll give oh. her time, so I'll go immediately down to the stage and try and comfort her. Okay, that would have been cool. Had she, like, in anger thrown the sword at him, he actually used one of those stupid swords and blocked it. And then she'd be like, oh... He's, he's got Maybe some you could use like a lips thing. It's like, oh, you gotta press X in the nick of time to cling. I mean, come on, they're both swords people. Shouldn't they connect through like a, a like a sword fight or whatever? That's how she can get out her, her anger, and she can just. That'd be cool. A sparring I mean, session. The scene playing in my head is that you know she she turns on Seijiro, you know, uses a sword, and he you know hits his, and then they fight for a bit, and she tears streaming out her cheeks because she's she wants to do this, she wants to do, do this for everybody, but then wham, you knock the sword out of her hands, and then you point the sword at her, saying, "If you give in to anger, then it won't then it won't work out. You need to trust in your friends and in of yourself." And then you put him away, you help her back up, and that's like, yeah, you're right, Seijiro, but. Instead, I say, listen to me, and she and I get close to her, and she's like, no, don't you, pervert, tee -hee. Like, I just, I just can't sometimes, man. Be fucking serious here! Okay, you know that thing in anime is made specifically for girls. You know, you got all the hot guys, and... You know, they, they do the the one thing that I think is just smooth and suave as hell, even though it can come off as very bad and creepy. You know, when you got the, the one finger just, like, holding up their chin a little bit as they stare into your eyes lovingly. I don't know, for some it's gonna reason... Take, um, it's gonna take, like, a huge amount of charm and charisma to do that. Oh, yes. You, you have to be able to, you know be the man of their dreams before you even think about doing that in, in reality. It's about timing, it's about being suave, it's about being commanding. It's like, hey there, chin up. We've got this. Don't worry about a thing. 
See, that's yeah. like a st- still sounds a little creepy when I do it. it well, it does, but you know, it's it's a tropey thing. But I kind of like that, and I could have sworn that's what he was going for. And thank God he didn't. Otherwise, more damage probably would have happened. And also, if she fell for that this early in the game, my God, her emotions are all over the place. Uh. Uh. Oh, this is why she's called Sakura. Uh. So what's your real name, hun? Sam. My name is actually Tsukuyomi. Nice to meet you. So... I love the Yakuza series, you know that, right? Mm-hmm. But I don't like Yakuza 5. You may. Because one of the, re- the the big reason why I dislike Yakuza Five is because they just kept going on and on about dreams, 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 dreamy, dream, dreamy, dreams. You know, dream, this has always dream. been my dream. I have to abandon my dream to help the dream of somebody else. Well, this game does it too. Yes, I knew it. Sakura oh. keeps going on and on about her stupid dream, about being like the stupid swordswoman who saved her stupid life. It's like, oh, I want to be in the Imperial Combat Review like her. I want to be a great swordswoman like yes. her, too. I want to be a great warrior like her, too. It's always been my dream. It's always been my dream. It is the, It is a weak and flimsy, childish dream. Oh man, the only way this game could get any better is if there was an idol subplot. Please that'd be like, give me that. That'd be like saying, I want to be like Ben Affleck. I want to be like Ben Affleck. I want to be a, a millionaire actor and playboy like he is. I want to be. It's my dream. It's my dream. I'll do whatever it takes to achieve my dream. That'd, that'd be a stupid dream. And what are you still doing here? Leave me alone! Take a breath, man. <sighs> Leave me the fuck alone! What do you want? <laughs> oh, please say it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh, Sakura. With you, it's always a bad time. No! So now we're going to get into Kamiyama's backstory. Oh, good. I needed an excuse to check my phone. Let me see what's going on. Nah, I'm kidding. He was the captain of a ship. That's pretty impressive. (laughs) (laughs) That's how good he was! Well, it it, it got attacked by demons. Oh, okay. Yeah, my first day on the ship, I walked on and the entire thing capsized. It was strange. So you know how wow. it is in these tropic animes, you know, you, you're not old enough to rent a car in America, but old enough to have a harrowing, war-torn past. So All right. You got, I mean, you gotta have your 20-year-olds having the thousand-yard stares and nom flashbacks and all that. The, co- the Shanghai Combat Review saved them, too. You know, I'm starting to get a little suspicious of these Shanghai Combat Review guys. It's like, everywhere the demons are, they show up right after. It's like they're planning it or something, don't you think? That would be a cool plot twist, you know, yeah, sabotaging it... different events just to get you notoriety. And to be honest, that's where I thought they were going. <laughs> that would be so cool. Wait, you're saying that's not it? Nope. Oh. Uh-oh. Well, it's time for us and our no money to go get in our broken, beaten up fucking mechs. One of which we don't have yet. And, oh, uh, I really dislike this transformation sequence, so, okay, go down here. All that. Now, remember in Sakura Wars 5, you go down a, a tunnel like this, but you fall into, like, this little capsule, then you change into clothes there, but here, let's just melt all your clothes away and then zap <laughs> them on you! You know, I think maybe we could sell this apparatus for some funds. I mean, do, we could just go ahead and change to our clothes like normal people. 
I mean, she just went miles downward. How how long would that take? Oh yeah, we're all here, by the way. Now we had we had to watch Sakura because it's her game, nobody else's. So, the demons in Ginza, which is pretty close to where we are. The Shanghai Convict Review's doing another demon attack somewhere else, which means that we're the only line of defense. Us and our busted up, broken, piece of shit, clunky mechs. We're better off swinging toasters at them. Oh, there's a little preview of our last girl there. Oh. Also, who was the one that already put my oil painting up on the wall? I noticed that in one of the frames. We already have our picture up. Well, we've been here for a week. Maybe they did that then. Oh, okay. All right. Move out. Cause yeah. Because I'm, ca I'm, I'm trying to be a captain here, goddammit. Trying to show some authority here. Do -do -do -do. Wait, what? Wow, that was like the easiest point you have ever been given. Alright, I'm gonna give the animation studio a, 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 you know, a little high five because making 3D animation look 2D is very hard to do. I'm not keen on it. Maybe if the framer was a, like a little bit higher, it'd be alright, but that's, that's just me. There's a, there's a little bit of 2D and 3D happening at the same time, which is pretty nice. The mysterious assailant appears. The combat review is on the scene! So next time on Sakura Wars, we're going to finally get into the combat. But first, we have an intermission here, just like the old games. Okay. But now, well, we don't have a pentagram like the last game. We got, uh, instead, a stage. So we check the team status. We're down here in the lower right. It'll show our our, uh, our rank and how we feel about the team. And then the girls will be here at the top of the stage, and they will gent they will gradually move their way closer towards, set towards the front. The closer oh, they okay. are, the more close they are. And, oh my god, I just cannot get rid of Sakura. She loves you to the stars and back. So Sakura's ahead, Hatsuho close behind, and Claris pulling up the rear, but it's still really early, and that stage is going to be filled with people by the time we're done. So next time, we're going to deal with the fucking combat. See you next time.